Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a review on a custom Kydex knife sheath that I got made specifically for my Ontario 498 USMC combat knife. And this video is weeks overdue, mainly due to the fact that I was being lazy and also because of the fact that I wanted to test it first before putting my two cents in. And without any further ado, let's get to the topic at hand. First off, let's let's start with the packaging. The packaging came in this box and I have taped the addresses for obvious reasons. That's the guy's name. The company name. And it's it came packaged rather well. If I remember correctly, it was wrapped tightly in some bubble wrap, which I had to remove. And it came with his business card with a pen and the receipt with some handwriting telling me to follow him on social media. And next off, let's talk about the retention. The retention is pretty good. This is a new, by the way, this is a new Ontario 498 that I got because my other one got messed up. And it locks pretty good, but it rattles a little bit, as you can see. But... When it's on, when, it's, when I put it on my belt, I notice it doesn't really rattle as much, so it's not really much of an issue, at least for me. And next off, let's talk about the versatility. This comes, this came with, um, this was made with the removable back plate, and pretty much I can just take like this. This little clip, which is what originally was on it. And then I can take this, like say if I want to switch this, I could put this on it and switch them out. But I'm happy with it. I don't want to because I, I like the tack lock. And it's it sits a little bit high on my Belt, like on my waist but considering that this is that the Ontario 498 is like a 12 inch that, that this is like a 12 inch knife the handle being four inches and the blade length being seven I actually would I actually much prefer it over having something like this which sits rather low on my belt and just flaps around Next off, let's talk about the negatives, like the ferro rod holder. This is mostly my fault for being impatient, but pretty much my beef with it is that this thing, it doesn't fit. This little ferro rod holder doesn't fit. I can unscrew this thing. This is, I, I can unscrew it. And then I could put it in here and just attach an elastic band, sure, but I would much rather just have it in this little cil attached to this cylinder thing. I gave him the dimensions, but I should have just bought that I should have bought it before then send him it to sent him it to fit it properly fit it. but eh, I didn't know one knew better at the time. Next off, let's talk about the tech lock again. It has this little, this little latch thing, where it easily comes off. Like it came off on me a few times, and it's it doesn't really stay. It like comes off, and I it came off just now. It came off easily. And now I have to put it back on. Let's see if I can put this on 
on camera. Actually, I can't. And it also has this little bar right here. I think it's for smaller belts. And I've already lost a second one. I already lost. The, it just came with two. I lost one of them. I don't even. I don't know where the heck that went. But that's pretty much my only issue with the tech lock. And my conclusion. This is a really great piece of gear. And it didn't really cost it didn't really cost that much. It costed about as much it costed for me around as much as as the knife itself, which I think was pretty good. And it's but it's it's slightly let down by the the negative the stuff that I stated earlier. One of which was my fault, so that kind of doesn't really count. But I will see if I can if I can do a little bit of DIY and see if I can come up with something to make it work. And anyways, that concludes my review on this custom knife sheath. The maker of it will be in the description box below. And if you're interested in doing business with him, or just, just to check out his work, have a good rest of your day. And I will see you guys in my next video.